Hello, adventurers, and welcome to Dungeons and Newbies. This is a behind the scenes episode of Dungeons and Newbies, episode number six. We are here in my basement with my computer right here, and we're working on some writing at the moment. Uh, it's nearly done, which is nice. So we just have a few things to finish up here. There we are. Alright, so yeah, just a few things to finish up. Um, because I am starting a YouTube channel to put the podcasts on and these behind-the-scenes videos on, which you guys are watching this on, um, I have to put something about a YouTube channel in the last little stretch of our podcast. So, here we have Google Docs and just the script for the episode and this episode is all about why i play dungeons and dragons and a few reasons why you guys might want to play dungeons and dragons so um let's just scroll down to the bottom here okay so i have changed my setup and i'm talking about a bit of that in this episode right about here so this is the paragraph I'm looking for. So you can listen to us. Sorry about that. Um, so here's the last little blurb. So you can listen to us on our website, dungeonsandnewbies.com, iTunes, SoundCloud, comma, our new YouTube channel. I can never remember how to spell channel. And our Patreon. Until next time, adventures. And then there's going to be a little break, and we will get into my new setup. So, there is the writing for this episode done. I am going to try to record a behind the scenes of the writing process a bit more in future. Um, I have started writing episode 7. But I will hold off with the rest of that until I have the camera set up, microphone set up, this set up. Um, so you guys can see some behind the scenes of the actual writing process. I might, rather than having this camera recording, I might have my webcam recording just, um, just so it would be a little easier on me. Uh, should be recording at the same resolution little lower frame rate, which is a little upsetting, so the um, movement of my hands won't be as smooth. Maybe I'll do this, who knows, maybe you'll just have to see my profile the entire time I'm writing. Maybe I'll do both, who knows? I don't. That's the future. Um, just to date this a little bit, I am recording this, both the behind the scenes, the finishing up the writing, and the actual podcast today which is the day before the episode actually goes out, the day before Dungeons and Newbies episode 6 officially goes out. Which means I have a few things to, that I need to get done today. First, recording and editing episode number 6. Recording and editing this. Actually um, putting all of our previous episodes into a video format. Uploading those to YouTube. So... We have some content on the YouTube channel. Making the YouTube channel, actually. Haven't done that yet. So we have quite a few things I need to get done today. I actually just finished testing the complete new setup because I have had my microphone for a couple weeks now. And that's been tested. It works. But um, yesterday, I actually got in a new mixer for the audio upstairs. I'll show you more when I head up, ready to record. I'll bring the camera and the tripod and everything, um, so you guys can see kind of what the setup is like up there. But I got a new mixer in. I just tested that a bit, so hopefully it's working good. If not, I may have to re-record episode 6. And all of this stuff is on a little to-do list I have right on my desk. So hopefully things go well, hopefully things go smoothly, 
They normally do. Editing doesn't take a super long time. But I'll see you upstairs, guys. If there's anything else you'd like to... If there's anything else you would like to know about my setup, just email me at jack at dungeonsandnewbies.com. And if you go to our YouTube channel, probably today, I'm going to try to upload it tomorrow, or even maybe today, who knows, a behind-the-scenes episode um, kind of showing off what I do in the background of all of these videos. Sorry kind of showing off what I do in the background of all of these episodes just to get just to kind of give you guys an idea of what type of work goes into making this podcast so thank you all so much for listening and until next time adventurers Hello, adventurers! Welcome back to Downstairs with the Beefier Computer. We're now in the editing phase. So, I have Adobe Audition pulled up, which I'm going to be using for editing. Uh, you'll see this on a monitor. I also have a second monitor. This is for all the effects. Um, so, you won't actually be able to see any of this. Um, I'm sorry, if you look really close in the video, you might be able to see it. It's right here. So, yeah. But, it's, it's gonna be difficult. Um, I might be able to get away with editing in this way. I'm not used to it, so forgive me if I'm not perfect. Uh, if we're doing this, forgive me if I have to switch back to the maximum editing dual monitor feature. So, first things first, we're going to open up the um, uh, thumb drive that I saved the file to. I saved it as a .wav, dn episode 6, so we're just going to copy that into our Adobe Audition. So, here we have some silence. I record this purposefully. So I'm just going to get a noise print of that, shift P, and then command control, sorry, A, to select all, control shift P, to get some noise reduction, and this is just to pull out any extra noise that is in the file that we don't need. So now basically I go around looking for something that looks like this, because that's when I clicked the little dog trainer thing to let me know I had made a mistake and I listen to the audio around that and make minor edits. Okay, so I'm just saying, let's start that again so I can cut that audio out. So here we have a bit of a longer break when I'm scrolling on my iPad through the script. It's at the break of a paragraph, so we're just going to cut a bit of that out. Okay, so now I've finished officially editing this. Now we have some final touches to do. First up, we have this um, long bit at the end. We're just gonna cut that off. Now we are going to convert the entire file to mono. So instead of having a different channel for left and right, we're just going to have one channel for the both because my microphone doesn't record in um, stereo, which means these two um, left and right channels are actually the same. So we don't need two different um, waveforms. We just need the one. So I actually have a little, oh, let's not make anything on my desk fall over. I have this number pad here and I've gone into a program called Hid Macros to set up uh, basically this as a separate keyboard than my actual keyboard. So 
buttons on this do certain things inside Adobe Audition, such as saving the file, converting to mono, which is number five for us. Um, for some reason, I'm not scrolled over on my little cheat sheet here. So number four will apply all the effects I stand I put onto these episodes and all my voiceover stuff automatically. So we're going to hit number five first. And as you can see, that converted the entire file into mono, meaning one channel for all of our audio information. Now, all I need to do is select everything, hit the number four, and it'll apply some effects. I'll go over the effects after I actually hit the button. So, let's go through what that actually did. If we click on my favorites, because this is how I did it, uh, let's make some room. Whoops, nope, 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 no. No, let's rewind. Okay, here we go. This is what I wanted. So, this is what it's doing. It's applying a hard limiter uh, to uh, to the uh, I can't speak. A tube modulated, modeled, uh, a tube modeled compressor. We then normalize it. We remove the S's, the hard S sounds, and we apply another hard limiter. So hard limiter means we don't have any waveforms going above a set number. And for me, that set number is minus one db. So that's what it does. It doesn't do a lot. Um, it really doesn't even change my voice that much. So yeah, I just, those are just some effects I apply. So I'm going to quickly go through what everything in um, these effects did. Hard limiter, I've already explained that. A compressor actually brings the lows closer to the highs. That's what that does, and I believe Normalizer does the exact opposite. It brings the highs closer to the lows. I could have those two backwards, so don't quote me on those. Uh, DSer removes the hard S sounds, and again, a final hard limiter. So, now what I do is I go through, give the entire episode a listen to, make sure it's up to my standards, and then I save, and it's ready to be uploaded. I just need to write a description and an episode title, but that's really easy and that happens when we actually upload it. So I'm going to give this one listen through and then we will save it, basically. That's as easy it is. Bleh. That's as easy it is it. Ugh. That is as easy as it is. I don't know if that even made sense, but... Basically, that's what I do. This editing process normally takes 20 to 30 minutes, and I have been explaining it to you guys, so it is taking a little longer than normal, but let's give it a listen. So I am listening through, and I just noticed something that I didn't like. Something stood out to me in edit, possibly stood out to me, or maybe it was just the way I was speaking up in my closet. But something stood out to me and I didn't quite like it. It felt out of place. So I'm going to zoom in, try to find what I heard again, and edit it. So I didn't like this little break here, so let's get rid of a bit of it. Uh, but there was some other things I didn't like as well. Okay, so I think I messed up that line. Uh, up in the recording booth, which means I'm gonna head back up to my closet and actually re-record that line. So if we open up Google Docs, let me pull it over here so you guys can't spy on everything I have on Google Docs. Um, I'm gonna go into the script that we have and I'm actually going to find that line Highlight it so when I go up, I can find it nice and easily. Re-record it. So I think I'm just going to re-record the entire paragraph. So I'm going to highlight it in a nice yellow so it's nice and obvious. 
And I will grab a new USB drive. I think I'm gonna use Scooby for this one. And I'm going to head upstairs, re-record the paragraph, bring it back down to plop it into editing, and Bob's your uncle. See you soon, guys. All right, so I'm back. I just re-recorded the paragraph. I have Scooby back. I'm going to plug him into my computer now. All right, and wait for, there we go. So now we can see DNN episode, DN episode six, re-recorded paragraph dot wave. So we're going to drag this over to my second monitor, put files up and drag that in. So here's the interesting part. I re-recorded the entire paragraph. So what I'm going to do is find the beginning of the paragraph. I'm going to look at the, um, whoops, the script on my computer on Google Docs, and then have a look at what um, it starts at. So it starts at reason B. Okay, so it starts here. And it ends at or villains if we really want to. And that's the end of that. I'm going to move this over just slightly. Okay, so here we have marked where this whole thing begins and ends. So what I'm going to do is save this, put it into a multi-track session, and then I'm going to um, put it on a second layer, the corrected bit on a second layer, cut out the bits I don't want, and hopefully that will do the trick. We will see, of course. So, here's what's going to happen. I'm going to listen to the rest of the podcast and see if I find any more mistakes. So that's the podcast itself. It sounds good. So I just listened to the entire thing, and the only real problem I heard was the part already mentioned and re-recorded on Scooby here. Look, there's, there's a little body. I don't know if it's going to autofocus. Does this camera autofocus? Not, not really. Oh, well. Um, so we just heard that one mistake, which is awesome, meaning I have less running upstairs to do. Uh, that's fantastic. We're going to save that. And now we're going to switch to a multi-track view. DN episode 6. We don't want to save there. We want to browse to the desktop and do DNN podcast audio episode 6. Edited select folder. Episode 6, multi-track, okay, and I would drag this in now, okay, so we can see the little markers I'd made, and now we're going to go into this one, now we're going to edit this, okay, so I like that, we're going to now Put my macro pad back to where it's supposed to be. So we're going to hit number five to convert to mono, select all, hit number four. So we get all the nice effects. We hit save and we'll save as in this nice episode six edited, save. All right, now we hop back into our multi-track session. We drag this here find roughly where it begins. Let's hit solo on this. It means it's time to chop this one out. So I'm going to cut there and we're going to zoom out a bit and slide over to the end of this clip. We're going to go here. We're going to cut this one, delete that and slide this over so the silent bits are kind of overlapping each other a bit. 
So here's the end of this one. We're going to slide it to about there. Let's view this front bit. Let's slide this over a touch. Right about there feels about right. And about there. Okay, so now we give this a listen. Okay, so that actually sounds a lot better than I expected it to, just for kind of eyeballing it. And that's good. I like it there, it sounds good. So now we save the multi-track. And now we go into File, Export, Multitrack Mixdown, Entire Session, and we browse, we go up to our desktop, go into DNN Podcast, Audio, Episode 6, Edited, DN, N, Episode 6, Final, Save it as a wave, okay. And there we go. Editing is completely done. That was a lot easier than expected, to be honest. Um, it lasted a little longer than normal, but again, I did have to uh, kind of let you guys know what was going on as we were doing it. So, thank you all so much for watching. Um, that's a bit weird to say for something at like podcasts, but thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed, leave a like on this video and check out the podcast if you haven't. Tell your friends about the podcast if they're into D&D or are trying to get into D&D. Um, so there we go. Thank you all so much for watching and until next time, adventurers.